Krajem oktobera u Beogradu je održana velika konferencija RIP85, koja je uživo gubila preko 500 ljudi iz 70 zemalja koji upravljaju internet mrežama u regionu Evrope, Bliskog istoka i delu Centralne Azije. Održavanje ovog skupa u Beogradu svoje vrstno je priznanje domaćoj internet zajednici, okupljenju oko registra nacionalnog internet domena i grupe mrežnih operatora Srbije. Više o tome što je moglo da se čuje na RIP85 kao i drugim vestima iz organizacije koja koordinira internet operatore u našem delu sveta, reći je nam Natoša Vojsilović iz organizacije RIPE NCC. Natasha, izvolite, narodnih 15 minuta su vaše. Hvala najlepše. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you do not mind that the presentation will be in English. So, I come from the member services team of the RIPE NCC back in Amsterdam. And we'll, today we're going to be looking into the RIPE NCC organization and the way it's connected to the RIPE community. Uh, then we'll look into the, some of the numbers when it comes to the uh, members in Serbia, the local internet registries in Serbia we have, and how they fare to the other countries in uh, Southeast Europe. Uh, then we'll uh, cover some of the latest RIP NCC events as announced. Uh, I'll take you briefly into the main focus of my team back in Amsterdam, the member services, what it is that we are uh, uh, focusing at the moment, and we'll cover some of the funding and networking opportunities uh, for you. So to start with, I, I trust that uh, most of you are pretty familiar with the RIPE NCC as a legal entity, as uh, one of the five regional uh, internet registries uh, based in Amsterdam and with the offices in Dubai as well. Um, this year we have celebrated uh, 30 years of existence and uh, we are the not-for-profit membership association uh, that is uh, fully funded by over 23,000 members in our service region. Uh, so Serbia is a part of this service region that is uh, covering uh, the bigger part of Europe, uh, the whole of Europe actually, Middle East and uh, Central Asia. Uh, our main services are to provide a global internet number resources and uh, related uh, activities to our members and non-members alike. Uh, so let me briefly uh, tell you about the RIPE community. So the RIPE NCC and the RIPE community are very uh, closely interdependent but two separate entities. A uh, RIPE community is a global forum and everybody can actually be a part of it, no matter uh, situated in RIPE service region or not. Uh, so you can sign up to the mailing list of uh, one of the working groups that you see here on slides and uh, also uh, to all of them if you're interested in discussing and uh, dealing with the internet coordination, uh, you are already the part of the RIPE community. You can uh, discuss the policies with your peers and uh, come to our RIPE meetings that are open to everybody, not only to our members. Uh, recently, we have launched another way of hearing back from our community, which is the RIPE NCC Forum. It's a web-based platform that you can uh, um, have a dialogue uh, and uh, uh, we engage, encourage the industry-related discourse uh, you're free to browse it and check it out because it's uh, quite new. Um, then again, we'll uh, look into the position of Serbia. You see the Southeast Europe is the region, one of our uh, uh, part of our service region that we are focusing upon. And I have to say uh, that we are, as the organization, very um, content with the engagement of the Serbian community. We see highly responsive local community in Serbia when it comes to our training courses, to our member lunches, to our open house events. So I'm um, thankful for that and happy to be here to further support you. Uh, in Serbia, we do have 92 active LARs, local internet registries, who have signed the standard service agreement are, and are the members of our organization. You see how we fare, how Serbia fares to the rest of the countries in the region. Um, and uh, Serbia is holding 8% of the IPv4 um, addresses uh, and uh, it has around 12% of the population as compared to the uh, sea countries, the rest of the sea countries. 
when it comes to the IPv6 deployment, uh, the sea, the whole of the sea region is not so much on board. Uh, so again, we are here to see and hear back from you uh, what are the ways that we can support in this further implementation of the IPv6. So please feel free to come along, approach me and give the feedback if, if you need any sort of um, support from us. Um, this is the slide that my colleagues have made back in Amsterdam and we have been looked into, looking into the, uh, the amount of the closure of the LARs, the local internet registries, ever open. And we see that Romania is leading in the C region, which is also uh, leading in our the entire service region as to the amount of the LAR accounts ever closed. With Serbia is second in this, um, on this graph with 46% out of 92 LARs uh, currently open. We have 79 LARs closed. And uh, we have actually looked into the reasons for it, and uh, basically we do not see any concerning trends. Uh, it's, it seems like a, a regular natural flow of the market, and when the smaller organizations and the ISPs have been taken over by the bigger organizations, and yeah, it's just uh, the way uh, things are. But it's interesting to see anyways. Um, then uh, we have organized a number of the events in this region. Uh, the last uh, Southeast European event was uh, back in 2015 in Belgrade. And uh, more recently, the virtual event co-hosted by SOX and by ICANN, uh, the Internet Measurement Day in September. Uh, we are very pleased to have 75 of the delegates, maybe even some of the people in this room have been there. Uh, that uh, we had the researchers, the network operators and the regulators discussing all of the, uh, their experiences when it comes to the measurement tools. And uh, we've uh, heard an update on the Serbian DNS recursive traffic behaviors, but Quad9, and shadow service breakdown of malware infection types as uh, seen in Serbian networks. We also have seen Kaida's source address validation measurement project, the Swoofer project. Uh, they share their last year's uh, country stats for Serbia and have also kindly offered to put RS NOG mailing list to their extensive list of NOGs that are receiving free monthly reports. And the entire event actually is available still online, the recording of the event and all the presentations. So I encourage you to go and check it out if you are further interested in, uh, in um, the details of the measurement. Uh, as uh, mentioned already, and uh, I trust also some of you have already joined us at the RIPE 85, the big RIPE event, annual event uh, in Belgrade in Hotel Metropole, 24 to 28th of October. For the success of this event, we have to uh, say thank you uh, once again to our kind hosts from SOX and uh, RNIDS. And uh, we have seen this hybrid event with people on site and online also coming together, over 1,000 people and uh, over 200 newcomers. We are always happy to welcome the newcomers, especially in the region that doesn't have so much opportunity to come and attend the RIPE events and the big RIPE meeting in, in uh, Western Europe. So uh, please keep up this attendance and uh, this level of engagement. Um, as in the words of the RIPE chair, we had the mix of great discussions and great weather. We're also grateful about that and a solar eclipse that has maybe also enhanced the impact of the discussions and of the really um, uh, high uh, level program uh, through many sessions. Uh, going into uh, what are the best practices of the history, what has the history taught us so far. Uh, what are the current um, uh, experiences and the solutions applied by the network operators and how we can all as a community create uh, a robust and um, healthy ecosystem of the internet for the future. 
I would highlight a few of the presentations. For me, it was very interesting uh, to see uh, Sloboda Marković's presentation uh, about the uh, remembering internet revolution in Serbia during students' protest of 1996-97, where we have seen from the protagonists themselves, from Slobodan and my colleague Vesna Manojlović and other panel uh, discussion participants uh, giving an account on uh, the critical role the internet has played in these turbulent times and uh, the way that the internet has facilitated the social changes. So the power it has to bring uh, to better our lives in general. And from the turbulent uh, times of the past coming to the turbulent present uh, that we are all living through, unfortunately right now, the world is on fire on so many levels, and uh, Tobias Fibi has uh, a very insightful presentation and actually has given the 13 propositions on an internet for a burning world and really calling us all uh, network operators and all of the internet uh, uh, people involved in, in creating internet to really um, create uh, a better understanding and more empathy, more apply more care and take actually the responsibility in the way that we are uh, caring for the infrastructure, for the people and also for the planet itself. Uh, we are proud to announce the foundation of NOG in the region, so it's a uh, Croatian NOG. And uh, it was announced at the RIPE 85 and already has taken place uh, a few days ago back in Zagreb in uh, Srce. So if you are interested in what your colleagues in Croatia are up to, please go and check out uh, the, um, the event details online. And uh, talking about the uh, hot topics of the, of the present and also of the future, quantum internet technologies and activities is among them. Uh, we are encouraging you also, if you're involved in the field, to apply and to take part at the Quantum Internet Hackathon, which will take place uh, on site in uh, Sarajevo, the closest to us here, and also Amsterdam, Dublin, Poznan, a few of the other cities, and also online. So please sign up. You still have the time uh, to be there on the 2nd uh, and the 1st of December. And I would like to uh, bring you back to our offices in Amsterdam and to my member services team. Uh, our core business is the IP address management for the LARs for the local internet registries, our members. And in the post IPv4 run out world, we uh, see even more need to take care of the accuracy of the registry. So this is the, the core of our mission and vision, and we are here to protect the resource holders, no matter that they are LARs or the end users, from any misappropri potential misappropriation of the resources. Uh, we have seen the rise in the number of the transfers of the mergers and acquisitions and also, unfortunately, the hijacking attempts, and this is why we have to be super alert and awake and uh, we have applied uh, are applying daily our due diligence procedures when onboarding new members during the membership cycle and uh, yeah to make sure that we are talking really to the relevant parties we are asking for the national authority issue documents we have to verify the people signing agreements are actually the ones that are claiming to be and um, yeah we have um, really raised, uh, so to speak, the game when it comes to protecting uh, resources holders. And this is why uh, it's a two-way traffic. Uh, we are doing this uh, checks on our side and we also are appreciating, pre appreciating your being proactive in uh, the sense of keeping your information uh, on the LIO portal up to date and using your IP NCC access account. Uh, to make sure that the uh, admins and uh, regular and billing uh, privileges are assigned to the relevant people and in case not or in case the colleague has left the company and you haven't updated your information, 
we can have the unauthorized transfer resources access that we, nobody wants to see. So please keep everybody's life a bit easier and be proactive anytime there are some legal organization details changes. Uh, come to us and open up a ticket with us. And uh, finally, I would like to uh, invite you to use the opportunity we have for you uh, for the funding uh, of the uh, RIPE NCC Community Projects Fund is uh, the annual uh, fund that has over uh, up to 250,000 euros per year that we are uh, granting to the innovative uh, services and tools coming up with uh, creative ideas to support the technical community and work for the health of the internet. We are proud to have uh, successful applicants from Serbia as well. The Internet Atlas uh, Tools for Digital Literacy got the fund back in 2017. You can approach your colleagues and ask them uh, about their experiences with this fund or uh, ask one of us, email us, get in touch, and uh, you have plenty of time to come up with a great uh, project proposal before April next year for the next um, application round. Uh, we also have a chance to support you to come and join us for the RIPE meeting and for the SEED, the Southeast European Local uh, Regional Meeting uh, with the fellowship program. So if you're working in industry, industry or also if you're studying in internet technology, uh, please uh, approach us, write a letter of motivation, tell us why you want to be there, to discuss the policies with your peers, to network and to bring the skills and the knowledge back to your local community and further empower it. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing you in Croatia in April for the next C meeting, C11. Uh, so you also can present at this event uh, and approach the program committee if you have any ideas about the presentation there. And if I do not see you in Croatia, I hope to see you in uh, number as well at the next RIPE 86 event in Rotterdam, 22nd to 26th of May next year. I will be here Maybe not the time for the questions right now, but I'll stay uh, during the sessions and I'm happy to hear the feedback from you. This is why we are here to better understand how we can further support you and uh, any feedback will be taken on board back to the Amsterdam office and uh, we are happy to support you in your great work even further. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Great.